Andre, yeah, after the game, we saw you you guys put protesting vehemently. Even before the game continued after the goal, what, what, what were you guys protesting and why were you so um, aggressive with, with, with a complaint to the referee? I don't understand this question because were, were you also watching the game? Yeah. So you know what happened? A Ghanaian player was on the floor, right? We had the ball. We had the ball. We put the ball out intentionally because our player is on the floor. So when the, what we do, when the ball is coming, you take the ball, Gabon, you give it back to Ghana. Simple as that. So we are waiting for the ball to come back, but the ball is not coming back. And they play, and they, that's how they got their, their only open, open chance of the game. <laughs> that is it. So it's very small of them. Very small. I'm disappointed in, in them. But um, no problem. We are Ghana. We are going to win the last game and go through. Inshallah. Hi to everyone, so you're welcome back to my channel. So thanks for those that have already subscribed and those that have not yet done so. I'm inviting you to subscribe and to turn on the notification so you won't miss any of the video that will be published on this channel. So today we'll be talking about the Ghanaian teams. And uh, you know the Ghanaian teams have been they're accusing the Gabonese of not being fed plates because the you know the game that took place yesterday between Ghana and Gabon it ended with a 1-1 one -one draw between the Ghanaians and the Gabonese team so the Ghanaians are very angry you can hear it from the mouth of uh, Dede Ayu accusing the Ghanaian the Gabonese players not being fair played so he's very angry and he is very very upset and it's not only him even we heard we heard about also the legend Asamoah Jan talking about the game as well. He was very angry. He was really unsatisfied on Super Sport, so he was really very angry about the draw that were done between Gabon and Ghana. Because you know the Ghanaians now for them to qualify for the next round, they have to look up to all the rest of the game. If they could finish among the four third places, that will be taken to to take them to the eight finals of this competition. So for them to to be qualified, they need to win the last game with a huge number of goals. That means with like I don't, at least like three to four goals for them to secure them a place in the eight finals of the Afcon 2021 that is taking place in 2022. So for this game, he was very uh, he was very very upset for the Ghanaian team because you know the game also uh, for those that watched the game, it ended with a general fight that caused to the dismissal of party. The mid Arsenal midfielder, he punched a Gabonese player that lead him to the red card that will suspend him also for the next game. That that means the Ghanaians they are already they will be playing now with that party. They are holding midfielder. So the uncontainable midfielder party he will not be there because he was dismissed during the, after the game because it was the general fight, he was killed hitting someone in the tower he was dismissed at so Ghanaian would lose who lost him and they will need to win the last game to secure a place at the eighth final of the African Cup of Nations. So for them, for those that are there, you can hear about what is saying uh Asamojan after the game just listen and put your comment down. <laughs> 